thank you to the EA Creator Network for providing me with a code for The Sims 4 Growing Together. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you caught me licking, licking my lips there, I'm eating a Turkish delight for energy. Not sponsored, I just love them. I, they taste like perfume and they're amazing. Um, I am, um, I've been trying to get to a really nice calm place in this let's play, in this household, so that when I started this video everything was just like under control and running smoothly but we know that these moments in this household only last about 10 what? seconds You're and then saying. someone wakes up and demands food and that's the situation we find ourselves in right now <laughs> eliza is like food time please <laughs> i am ready to be fed uh, please yes. servant um so um it's a bit sad that we're not doing very well with the first childhood friend thing but she's doing quite well with some of the other things she is maxing out quite a few of these uh these things so things is going to be the word of this episode don't expect me to explain anything properly she will not be able to do it right let her let her back out so what else do you need to do because you oh, are aging up in so... this episode so i do feel like we should make some effort to kind of do something else oh, study baby. shapes or um max movements movement skills study shapes i mean do you know what? You're fine. You don't have to be the brainy one, Eliza. You are the sweet, sociable one. Um, Vlad is the brainy one. And look at, look at, look at this guy. Look at this guy down here. So, I don't know. We're doing well. Do you know we can even, like, age Don up, I think, soon? Because Don is just maxed out. He's, like, um, excuse me. <laughs> we caught them having a moment. Um, he's just learned how to crawl. Crawl. So, um, yeah, we could have a two-in-one episode. Should we age up Don and Eliza on the same day or should we do perhaps like separate days for them no we'll do do you know what right now I'm gonna plan Don's birthday for tomorrow because it's Eliza's birthday today we can do Don's birthday tomorrow and then like it's gonna be amazing <laughs> That's, that's what I have to say. Um, so where is it? Birthday party, here we go. We're not gonna do a gold, gold event, we don't need to. It's gonna be Don's birthday tomorrow. Guests, we're just gonna get the family over. So do, 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 do. Apparently grandma's not coming, but that's fine. Let's not worry about that. And we're gonna have it, uh, do you know what? Let's have it at the rec center that comes with growing together. Um, and it's gonna be at four o'clock again, cause it's a weekday and a lot of the kids are in school now there we go there we have it like look at us we're doing so well at aging everybody up now what i do need to really focus on is getting luna um aged up so we need to really get her to level three of the simfluencer career um, and get her moved out by monday because on monday we're meant to be adding another sim to the household it's going to be the last sim of this let's play that we're going to add probably i'm thinking and i'm still waiting for you guys to let me know who it's gonna be so get your votes in let me know in the comments watch out for twitter polls because i don't know who to add as the last infant to this household it needs to be someone truly truly awful because we need it's our last chance to raise them right basically so i think we're doing well again luna has definitely led the way so luna isn't a pre-made she's just my teenager from high school years that i was playing with in that let's play so again we kind of need to get her processed and through uh so that we can really focus on kind of like aging everybody else so i have cheated a little bit i feel with luna because she's been such so 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 helpful in um kind of like helping us to raise the children so i do feel like i've kind of like cheated the system a bit with her but also very thankful for her presence like look at this guy so i think the only thing he has left to do i'm quite sure is learn how to stand hi eliza hello sweetheart is it your birthday today is your birthday today are you excited i'm excited you can she can basically pretty much run run free and do what she wants and we'll just kind of parent her if she if she does anything a little bit naughty, we'll kind of like parent her with that. But other than that, we can just kind of let her run loose, I guess. Um, yeah, so like, here's your big sister. Your big sister is, hey, what's your favorite skill? And she's like talking, yeah. And we're like, we know, we noticed that about you, Eliza. Um, oh my goodness, poor little Agnes Crumplebottom though. I feel like we haven't paid very much attention to her. I feel like we're gonna be able to pay more attention to her. Like when all the kids are in school uh we can really like focus on her she's kind of stinky i guess she needs to have her diaper changed perhaps so uh yeah she, 
Cinderella's done whatever it was she was doing that I don't know she's she's sleeping peacefully she seems happy I'm just gonna kind of leave her to it I don't know why we've put Don on there can we just crawl off it can we just can we just get off it ourselves do we need someone to take us off it Luna could you come and help help him pick him up and like put him down here please because he seems to be a little bit in in like infant jail right now he doesn't seem even though he gets he's got the ability to crawl he doesn't seem to be able to crawl off the mat so um oh my god what do i want her to do um go to work luna i want you to actually physically go to work today please um because I feel like then I can use the career tones to kind of boost her career up faster. Uh, so yeah, that is my plan there. Uh, put Don down there. Um, how are you actually doing? I want you to be in a really good mood. So get some potions of plentiful needs down the hatch. Please tell me that's potion of plentiful needs. It is because there's another one that's like similar but doesn't have the same effect. How are you doing? Did that work? Yes, that worked. Okay, so she's in a really, really good mood to go to work. So that is going to be perfect. Okay, so Don, what I need you to do is start trying to pull yourself up on things. So come and get on. He, he can't do it. Um, okay, Cinders, could you come up here and help Don practice standing, please? Because that is basically the last thing that he has to do. Eliza is has gone back to bed. <laughs> she's taking herself back to bed. Uh, Lena, Luna's going through a phase. Are you kidding me? I was just about to age her up. That is going to be really annoying. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh bugger. What's this that she needs to do? Socials? Make a best friend? We can do that. You can do that, Luna. You can have a best friend. It's going to be fine. Um, just please go to school. Go to, go to your job, please, because I really need you to do that for me. Uh, Cinderella is helping Don stand, I think. Um, and they've got a nice sentiment between each other, so that is really cute as well. Like, what is happening here? Like, are you, do, are you doing what I've asked you to do? Are you helping him to learn how to stand? You're paying attention to Agnes for some reason. Okay. Wait, what? Then she's back with Don? <laughs> what is happening? We do need to do something about Agnes. I don't really know why she's so smelly. Baby care. Um, change diaper. And then maybe if I give her a bath, give Agnes a bath. Right, Luna. Okay, wait, wait a second. Leave early, work hard, record high quality video. What does that do? I, I don't know, <laughs> but work hard. I think that is gonna be the one that increases this the fastest. Cause again, as soon as we've completed this aspiration, we can age her up. So, and then like, Get her out of the household she can still come over and help us sometimes if we need parenting help she can come and have a stay over look at him go oh he's done it he's learned to stand that means he's definitely time to age up oh my god don you're amazing great job he's tired though so i do want him to uh cinderella could you put don back to bed please i uh, put infant to bed don and then play him a lullaby please um hush little baby um because we need to keep him quite happy now because i don't want him to grow up with that kind of like bad infant trait i don't really know how to make sure that they have the good one to be honest um but yeah that's that's the thing what are you doing sir you're really not being very helpful right now uh could you bottle feed no cinderella no oh no is he gone to sleep there Cinder Cinderella, do what I've asked you to do. Leave Agnes alone. Christopher can come and look after Agnes. Can you look after Don, please? If I call him Bob, I'm so sorry. I get really mixed up with names. Um, I know that Bob Pancakes is Bob Pancakes. I know Don Lothario is Don Lothario. They are very different characters in my mind. I know who they are. I know the lore. I know the backstory and things like that. Names, I've got something. It's like, dis it's like dyslexia, but not. But it's to do with like my memory system and like how I pull names out it's I, I, it, I just can't help it it's like mentally i know what i'm saying but the words that come out of my mouth is just completely different than what's going on up there so i can't help it it's some kind of networking error <laughs> um network error in the bluetooth of my mind um okay so you you're doing that he's a little bit why are you angry why are you angry right now check infant no, put him, put him in here. Put Don in the bed. In the bed. Put him, put him in there. 
big money, big prizes, this is it. This is it. Oh, this time I love, it's the real thing. It's the opportunity Luna has been waiting for. A company just reached out to her about a sponsorship and asked her to do a stream to advertise their product. This could be big money. Luna has never heard of the product and the company is pushing for her to give a positive review. I don't think Luna's that kind of girl. Will she accept the contract and take a risk of promoting an unknown product or will she decline and give an honest review? She's gonna give it, she's gonna decline the offer and give an honest review and that's good to, right, that's good feedback for companies. So again, I, um, I'm a member of the EA Creator Network so I work um, alongside EA like I get codes for free like I have never ever been asked by EA to be like here's a product make sure you give a good review like they've never said anything like that to me like it's always like uh, here's a product we'd love if you did videos on it kind of thing like it's more of that kind of vibe like I've never been told what to say so the idea of like giving a sponsorship and saying that you love a product without ever having tried the product that's a really risky thing to do because what if there's a problem with that product or what if that product sucks and you've endorsed it it's like not a good idea to do that for you or the company to be honest we're declining the offer that's bad and um, luna's followers praise her honesty and are donating in droves in response the fan base's love and support shine through the comments this is why we follow you luna would never sell out this is why we know we can trust you so really good comments Comments. I love that. I hope you feel that way about me that I am honest and I do give honest reviews I tend to be positive um, When I'm making videos, I tend to be on the positive side because I'm kind of like If I've got ideas of how something can be fixed, I'll kind of put those ideas forward, but I don't think I don't I don't really do like rant videos and things because I don't think it necessarily helps I've done I have done a few videos where I've had a bit of a rant um about certain things like for example i don't like the uh, the early uh, early order bonuses because I, I think it's unfair on people especially in this economy where people are really struggling to kind of like gatekeep extra content unless they make that content available for purchase later on i don't like the idea of like the early bird content because i think it's just really um I don't know. I'm, I'm not getting into a rant about that right now. Uh, so there's certain things that we will kind of rant about, but I'm not going to make, I'm, I think I'm not going to make ranty videos for the sake of making ranty videos because I know that they'll get the kind of like clickbait views or anything like that. I tend to be quite honest with how I feel about things and I tend to have a kind of like, um, I don't know. I tend to try and focus on the things I like when I'm making videos rather than the things I don't like. But I definitely will say when I'm not happy. I don't know. I think I've got a balanced approach is what I'm saying. I don't know. Um, again, like, people like different things. Some people really like that kind of ranty persona that some people have. And if that's the kind of videos that those people choose, like, people choose to click on, that's up to them. Um, some people like a more positive persona when they're choosing videos. So, I don't know. People are different and they like different things. And that's how life works with cinderella for today's video um okay so agnes is doing quite well what is this negative sentiment how dare you put me down maybe we want to get agnes in a little i mean i don't know maybe just do some tummy tummy time do some tummy time with agnes uh tummy time together yes she got promoted so luna has been promoted to macros influencer brilliant so one more level to go and then we can age her up and get her out of the house and make room for that last infant and um, cue the punchline Vlad, i'm gonna be sad to see her go i'm probably gonna cry <laughs> cue the punchline vlad and greg just can't stop cracking each other up should they have the jokesters i love that vlad and greg the boys are back in town i love that vlad and greg are jokesters like yes let's do that agnes can babble as well like everything's going really Really, really well right let's have a quick look at the boys though oh my god it's like oh my god right um so what do we need to do you need to do your homework Vlad because you're meant to be the you're meant to be clever you're meant to be the smart kid um so um you can do your homework um oh Agnes is doing something um can Cinderella come and help Vlad with his homework please help with homework and I also want to parent him and praise him for doing um his homework hopefully that'll help with his confidence there's so much for me to think about right now i would love for greg to um he's a high school a student i would love for greg to come out here and start working on 
uh, working carefully on this project, perhaps with Luna. Oh, no, don't skip. No, don't skip school. Do go to school. Is it school time? Go, go to school. Wait, that means Vlad also has to go to school. Stop doing your homework, Vlad. Go to school. Like, don't help him with his homework, but do praise him for doing his homework. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Quick, praise him before he gets out the door. Do it. Great. Great job, Cinderella. Great parenting. <laughs> Look at him going off to school. Like, they're so cute. Okay, so he's doing quite well. I'm just going to kind of leave the boys up to whatever the boys are doing. Again, do need to kind of keep a bit of an eye on the character values and things like that, but they're doing all right. So, uh, right, Luna, why are you tense, my love? Maybe go for a jog to clear your mind and keep on top of that. <laughs> um, Agnes, what are we doing? You are gonna need to go to the show. She's got the role, right. Everybody's doing amazing. I can't believe what good parents we are right now. Uh, use your diaper and then we can uh, get you cleaned up. And it might be time for a nap, honestly, um, Agnes. I might call it again. I'm sorry for color Eliza. Uh, change diaper, Agnes's diaper, and then let's get her back into bed. Uh, there we go. Okay, Don is still sleeping and it's okay. He's starting to get a little bit hungry again. He eats so much. Have we tried finger foods and stuff with him? Is that a thing that we've done? Uh, baby's first food. I feel like we could probably do finger foods with, with Don next time he wakes up. Um, Eliza is getting ready to start causing mayhem again. I'm just going to let her sleep though. It is her birthday party later today. So I do want her to be in kind of a good mood. Um, what do you need to do? Nothing yet. What do you need to do? Uh, fertilize a plant. I don't know if I can do that actually because I actually went around and fertilized them all off camera a couple of days ago. I don't think anything's going to be ready for uh, fertilizing yet. Um, we can have a quick look but I doubt it. Um, we do need to water everything and harvest everything though so same difference. <laughs> I don't know. Harvest all. Okay um, so Luna is doing a school project for some reason even though she's not at school anymore um you need to oh my god you need to do stuff here so you need to post a review can we make a lifestyle review of the homework we can let's do that um she also needs to improve her charisma and she needs to um up, uh do her entrepreneur skill oh my god everything's happening um could you come and get the what is this check what what is this get mail um, too much is happening and I'm getting stressed out. Cinderella, this is what I need to do. I need to go and hide somewhere. Sick with worry. Is test date and Craig is so nervous. He's totally blanks. Even copying his neighbors won't work because his neighbor is a D student. What should he do? Feign illness or just take deep breaths? Take deep breaths. We're parenting you well. This is what you need to do. He tries to quell his anxiety by taking deep breaths. And what do you know? It works. I mean, his older sister is kind of like a meditation guru. So sure, his classmates shoot him with some funny looks. But when you're an A student, you have to take it life seriously um every test seriously okay cool yay we're doing well um luna <laughs> what did i just say you needed to do are oh, you making your lifestyle review okay that's fine oh my goodness this i don't know why this let's play is like so stressful i think because again if i was playing off camera i'd take it at like a much slower pace where i would pause more i plan more and it's just because i'm trying not to pause too much i just feel like everything's really hectic um okay christopher you're doing that wait hang on did you just glitch did you just glitch there's a plate glitching through your laptop i don't know how you were achieving what you're achieving but but good try um make a lifestyle review of this i don't know what happened to that last one something glitched um so just keep doing that um what are you, what are you doing um christopher has collected everything from the mailbox what did we get we've got a toy soup we've got some toys and a pizza Oh, is it the diploma? Certif no, certificate of marriage. I don't know what it is. Oh, do we need to ship this on Plopsy? Is someone buying this? Okay, sell that on Plopsy. Ship on Plopsy and also list this on Plopsy. And also list this on Plopsy. List everything on Plopsy. I think they're probably not great quality, actually, to be honest now. Yeah, it's a little bit wilted. Right, hang on. Don't list those on Plopsy. I've got an idea. 
if I, can I get Cinderella to repair these? Does that work? I know we can like improve the quality of them, but can we make them not wilted? No, it's, it's still wilted. It's still wilted. Unfortunately, it doesn't unwilt them. It would have been good if it did. I think the maiden might be coming to... Luna's got an entrepreneur skill level four. Perfect. I think I might just let the maid clear those up. Um, okay, perfect. Can you post this review online, please? And then that is that for today. And then you need to get your charisma up. So let's get you back into your bedroom. Do you have a mirror somewhere? Does this little tiny mirror work like a mirror? It does. Try to calm down. Meditate for a hot second. Because uh, that will actually help you calm down. Um, and then, um, and then, gosh, she's doing really, really well. And then we need to practice speech, I think, and that should get her charisma up. Great job. Okay, we're doing, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it well. Let me just check in with Luna's character values as well, because I do want to keep those all. Oh, responsibility has gone down quite a bit. Um, yes, I do like video gaming as it happens. Um, Cinders, what are you doing right now? Eliza, I, do you know what? Eliza, what are you doing? Eliza, get up and go to the potty. Um, it's your birthday, and you can go to the potty on your own if you want to, because your potty level skill three. Queen. Um, Christopher, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, and I'm just kind of panicking quite a bit, if I'm honest. Uh, Christopher, get pee on the floor, mark territory, and then have a wolf nap ready for this evening. Luna, how are you actually doing? She's flying, she's floating. <laughs> okay, um, all right. Um, I don't know, that doesn't seem to be going down, but hopefully her emotional control is still quite high. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm just going to stop doing that. Um, could you, could you just, could you just practice speech and we'll deal with responsibility soon? I just can't. I just can't right now. <laughs> I just, I just don't know. I'm going to full parent. I want you to go into full parent mode, but I don't really know like how I'm gonna do that exactly. Um, so I, I, I need to keep doing like parenting interactions, but they're not always available. So I'm kind of a little bit stumped with that one. Um, okay, Eliza, do you want to work on like maybe your imagination skill a little bit more because that's an option for you? Uh, um, have we got any toys? Like, Daddy Christopher had some toys in his inventory, didn't he? So let's give you uh, this dinosaur. I feel like that's your energy. <laughs> um, and uh, play with that. That, And then maybe we'll get her imagination skill up as well before she ages up. That would be pretty cool if that was a thing that we could do. Uh, Luna's calmed herself down, so that's good. What are you on? Um, three out of four. So hopefully we'll be able to do that today. And then she'll be able to... Um, Oh my god, words are hard. So she'll be able to get promoted tomorrow and then we can like schedule her a birthday. We're doing fine. We're doing well. We're doing well, guys. I feel like I'm convincing myself more than I'm convincing you. Um, so Don and um, Agnes are also starting to get a little bit like ready to wake up and have some food. So Cinders, you probably need to get in here, uh, wake John up and feed him. <laughs> so, guys, like, listen. <laughs> Turkish do like time. I'm going to get all chocolate in my teeth now. I'm going to regret everything as soon as I do this. But, uh, I'm not proper Turkish delight. It's fries Turkish delight, and I do really, really like it. Proper Turkish delight with, like, the nuts on and stuff and the dust. So good. My fingers are sticky now. Okay. Oh, yeah, my fingers are really sticky. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay. Are you feeding him? Because he does need feeding. Like, wait, hang on. Can we, like, comfort him? Because he's a bit stroppy. Like, let me comfort him. Comfort, there it is. Don't put him down. Don't put him down. Don't put him down. Cinderella, you don't need to do that. Cinderella, you don't, you don't need, you don't need to do that. 
Yeah. Like he needs comforting, not just dumping on the floor <laughs> in his little jail. Um, baby care, feed, breastfeed. Come on, like we know, we know what to do here. Also, Cinderella Kim, I don't want to make a hexproof. Potent potables effects on all potions are increased and all last significantly long longer. Sim can now hex their potions to have them always fail. Sure, that sounds fun. Again, I do actually kind of want us to get that hex where she gets like followed by the creepy thing because again, never had it. At least not in the game. In real life, probably. <laughs> I've probably noticed that. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, right, Sin Luna, how are you doing? Do this faster. I want everybody to come home from school. No, I don't. Everybody, things are happening. Why are you angry? Don't toy with me. Don't. Don't you dare smash the thing. Don't you smash the thing. What do you mean, don't you toy with me? What is this, Eliza? What is happening right now? Um, there is no food. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Don't panic, Eliza. Mummy can get you some magic food. Um, Grand Alicia. <laughs> oh, God, what's she doing? Don't destroy the school projects. Why are you like this? Why do you have to be like this, Eliza? Go over here. Okay, the birthday party is starting really soon. Vlad needs to go to drama. Okay. Oh, God. Right. Should, Greg, come and calm Eliza down. Hug lovingly. Um, tell, family kiss. Claim she's a plant sim. No. Uh, t tell her, her a goofy story. Why is your confidence going down? Why is your confidence going down? I don't want that. <laughs> um. Oh, but he's got a social level five. That's amazing. Cinders, what are you doing? Can you magic some food, please? There we go. Okay. Eliza, get this magic food. Grab a serving. Right, Greg. What do we need to actually do with you? You you need food as well. Get get food. Vlad, do you want to get some food or are you just going, you're off to drama club, don't, <laughs> he needs some fun, get out of the food, don't stand in the food, Eliza get some food, Eliza get some food, she's got some food, she's going to sit on this, good job Eliza, Vlad's off to drama club, okay, <sighs> Don's okay, Don's fine, I don't know why he's in baby jail but he is, um, Agnes is also fine, Cinderella's solving everybody's needs because she's an amazing amazing human being but she's not a human being she's a sim i'm an amazing human being cinderella with us is just a poor example a poor comparison of what i am in real life birthday party let's go cinderella sim is definitely achieving more than me in my in my sim life um i'm just gonna have more of this guy here. Oh. Mm. I'm comfort eating now. Oh, like, I love that I can achieve things in the game that I can't achieve in real life. Yeah, I go to the moon and stuff. Because it does give you a sense of achievement even when your own life is <laughs> challenging. Okay, I've got more time to eat more chocolate because the low screen is taking so long. Thank you, Sims team. For making it okay all right wait oh my god it looks so pretty though because it's all like snowy and wintry and nice like how cute does that look oh it's just really pretty i kind of love it it's like color coordinated mm, i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i'm not really sorry i'm enjoying it too much to be sorry <laughs> okay I did just try and breathe it in though. Um, okay. Christopher, come and make a cake for who's aging up today? I've forgotten whose birthday it is. Eliza's birthday. Come and make a rice cake. I don't think that's a birthday cake. Um, come and make. Oh, a honey cake would have been nice if we had honey. I I'm tempted to do the matcha cake. Again, for her. I feel like we did that last time and she didn't get to eat it. Winter cake. Can I put birthday candles on that? It is winter. She is a, Sagittar a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. My little winter baby. Um, so, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think Eliza's star sign is? Let me know in the comments. I could see it being a Capricorn. 
a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. I can see that working for her. Like the drive and the ambition. <laughs> and the hot headedness. Yeah, I think that works. Sa Sag Capi cusp. I'm, I'm pitching that for Eliza. Um, okay, you're doing the cake. What is everybody else doing? I'm going to let you all fend for yourselves. Um, maybe I should... Oh, look at these. Oh, my God, look at these two. Oh, my God. Like, like. oh, my God, it's wholesome. It's wholesome. Like, Don is, like, crawling. I mean, I know that it's, like, icy on the floor, and that's probably really hurting his hands, but that's really cute. Grandma's here. Cora, Nora, Nishdaki's here. What's the name? Kaiorai Nishidake. Uh, is here. We don't, I don't know why nobody invited her, but I'm glad she's here because she's cute. Um, okay, you're making food. Okay, good. Cinderella, you need to take a potion of plentiful needs, but I'm going to let you just take the child indoors first. Favoritism, we know which one Cinderella's favourite is right now. It's Agnes because she's left Don outside in the cold, which is quite frankly, I'm pretty sure that's some kind of karma. Um, okay. It's here. It is here. The thing is here. Okay, cool. Uh, oh my god, she passed it. She passed Agnes. Oh my god, that's wholesome. That's wholesome. Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That is actually really wholesome and cute. That was cute. I'm glad we caught that. Um, okay, can we put birthday candles on this? We can add birthday candles to this one. Okay, I love it. Um, what is everybody else doing? Greg, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? You're on this. Okay, what are you doing right now? Last time we were here, I think it was your birthday, Vlad. Do you remember? And you were talking to, like, grown-up Vlad. That was pretty fun. He was a top-notch infant. Oh, well done. I don't even think I realised that he got the top-notch infant thing. Yay, well done us. He wasn't a sad infant. Like, like who, who got, like, the sad thing? Unhappy infant. Oh, no. So he's top-notch top -notch infant. Oh, so I guess he didn't get, like, a toddler one. Are there toddler ones? I'm getting very confused. There's so many things in the game now. Right, okay. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Everybody stop. I'm too excited. Um... <laughs> Um, age up sim, no, um, help to blow up candles, whose birthday is it, I've forgotten again, Eliza, Eliza's birthday guys, Don's birthday tomorrow, and then it'll probably be Luna's birthday if we get her to get promoted again, it can be Luna's birthday the next day, and then it's like pretty much almost time, like we can move it out, and then we can get our last infant in the household, we're doing so, so well, like I wonder when we can get Greg aged up to a toddler as well, because he's doing, he's doing so well, we don't technically have to do this, is there a jungle gym here, wait hang on, we might be able to do this today, is there a jungle gym, <gasps> jungle gym there, and he is playful, go and play pirate, <laughs> Stop doing that and go and play pirate. Wait, I need to check. I need to get Eliza. <laughs> too much is happening. I need to get Eliza aging up, guys. She's here. She's here. She looks a little bit nervous. She's she's coy. She's nervous. She's excited. Grandma's excited in the background. It's very adorable. She doesn't quite trust this, but do you know what? We love this for her. We love it for her. Oh my god, she's aging up. She's aging up. I need to pull up. Wait, hang on. Where are you going? She is aging up. She's just choosing to do it halfway across the map for some reason because this is what... She just slid. Did she just slide? Oh my goodness. I am excited. Um, so she's... Um, she hasn't got anything like any extra bonus traits or anything like that. But she's got a boost to the kind of fundamental skills. So let me just... Eliza Pancakes sims 4 so we need to know what her traits are because we do need to give her one of her official traits when she ages up if it gets switched out through gameplay that is fine so she's materialistic neat uh, perfectionist and business savvy so um perfectionist so perfectionist is here we could give a perfectionist um material materialistic is that I don't even think children can have that trait. There's neat as well. I'm going to give her neat. I'm going to be strategic and give her neat because I feel like that is going to be more helpful and more beneficial to us. Because if we give her neat, she's going to do things like um, cleaning up, like tidying up the dishes, which is going to contribute to her manners, character trait more. Um, where if I gave her something like perfectionist, what that's going to do is I think it'll make her take longer to, um, to finish doing her homework 
and things like that. So I think strategically we want her to not take longer to do homework, but yes, to tidy up and that will contribute to character values. I thought about this, this is what we're doing. And then what do we want her to have? I do want her to have a social one, but I'd like her to have one of the new ones. Should we have slumber party animal? Playtime captain? What's that one? Playtime captain. Love to seek out active play with friends. Now I want to do I want to do slumber party animal for Eliza because again I'm very much about the social side, especially if she's going into politics. She needs to like know how to network and things like that, and charm and network and win people around to her side, right? So that's that's what I'm envision envis envisioning for Eliza. She's got a mohawk which is very cool but i don't necessarily think i mean maybe this is her punk rocker phase <laughs> oh i wish i was a punk rocker with flowers in my hair from 77 to 69 revolution was in the air <laughs> i can't I need to stop singing i'm not a good singer and like i love it i love it i just she's cute i kind of like that she's a punk rocker i probably will change it to something that's more in line with her personality but i do see that rebelliousness inside of her i do see that about her um okay i would love for them to come and do a group project together i think that would be adorable before we go home so uh greg has a couple of these in his inventory so i'm gonna put these here i don't know how loud that organ is by the way i can't hear anything right now i don't even know if you can hear game sounds today or not i can't hear anything so i'm sorry if that organ's really not loud i can't tell i'm sorry if there's no game sounds i can't tell um but here we go start working carefully let's get everyone on this so um come over here join this come here i know it's a party but come and do your homework together i love that we've got like three teenagers three children in the household right now like i think that's really cute um like i also feel like you should do some like can you do homework you can't do homework i don't know what to do for her responsibility right now actually I mean, you can probably come and help the others. Are you coming doing this? Oh, he's playing on the thing. Did that work? Did that... But why? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. Like, he's playing on it. He played on this one. He played on the one at home. I don't know. What no, but you buzz it out. Yay, we did it. I feel like it's broken, so I cheated, but don't tell anyone. Okay, go. I practice typing. That sounds boring. Um, go back over here. Like, listen, you two can start doing this. Work, start working carefully. You can join as well. Start working carefully. Uh, let's get Greg over here as well to join. Assist with project. There we go. Assist with project. Join, don't wander off come and assist with projects and then we can get like luna kind of like helping with assist with projects cinderella can come and assist with projects praise effort in motor growth go for it i don't know assist with project um christopher i'm actually gonna leave christopher to keep looking after everybody's needs um maybe you need to come and get some cake christopher you you do look a bit hungry like he's just walking around with agnes like this family is so wholesome i love them so much um oh look at them like passing eliza everything's just so wholesome i love it um greg are you coming over and assisting with project you are on your way okay cool um I love it. Um, so, um, what else can I do? So, parenting, encourage recent behaviour, encourage working on school project. You two, parenting, encourage recent behaviour, encourage working on school project. Kind of like praise you for things. Praise. Uh, that's good. Just, uh, just, Greg, <laughs> parenting, encourage recent behaviour, encourage good grades, encourage, oh my god, they're all so amazing. I'm so proud of all our pre-made children. And Luna, like, they're all doing so amazing. I just don't really know how to get responsibility on now that she's graduated. Uh, I need to figure out how to do that. Um, maybe she just comes and helps. I don't know. Maybe she just comes and assists. That'll help. Um, do poly school, freaking do school work, getting good grades, taking out the trash, brushing teeth. Oh, that could work. Cleaning up toys for the toy bus. It all help. 
Like, oh my god. Look how cute they all are. Cinderella, stop helping with the project now and can you like praise everybody because that's what I really need you to do. Uh, what are you doing here? Moira, why are you here? They've done it. They've finished the school project. They're all doing so amazing. I love them all so much. Express admiration because that's such a cute interaction. Um, and, and can I parent her? <laughs> Look at them all. They're all so happy with themselves. Uh, parenting. Encourage recent behavior. Encourage working on school project. That might actually do it. That might get her back up again. Oh my God. I am loving this so much. Um, his responsibility. Greg's responsibility is a rage to earn the responsible responsible tray. I can't speak. I love this. I love this. It's like a little Sunday school. We should bring them here on Sunday as well. Like maybe perhaps or something. Um, like so much is happening. I'm so happy and I'm just beaming right now. <laughs> Uh, oh no, witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I don't know, um, I don't, didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for your friend. Raises conflict re resolution. I like that for Greg. That is one that I want for him. Stay out of it and console your friend after, which raises empathy. Um, get an adult, raises manners. I want to raise conflict resolution and I do think, I think Greg would step in and stand up for his friend. So I'm gonna go with that one. Amazing. This, was, this has been so good. I feel like we're not gonna get a good like score for the birthday party, but I'm really pleased with how this went. I think it's really cute. Vlad, can we make a friendship bracelet for Greg, please? Can everybody make friendship, friendship bracelets? Because that would be really cute. I feel like that one grey, blue, and white diamond pattern. Oh, sounds oh, cute. Yeah. Greg, Greg, come and make one for Vlad. Um, make this shades of grey chevron pattern. Yeah. pattern. Yeah. King of chevrons. Yeah. Well, well, I can't, I can't, like opportunities to sing Lana Del Rey it was strong there. Um, Luna, you <laughs> might as well just Bob and Harris keep working on your speech um while well, you've got a hot second um eliza i don't know who you're gonna make a great friendship yeah, no, bracelet for but get in here and make uh this cute orange and blue one uh, since we're here we might as well do that that's a feature from growing together if anyone's interested in doing the friendship bracelet very very cute cinderella is just really pleased with herself right now oh she did go into pet full parent mode so i was hoping that thank you again for the tips guys um that to do to go into full parent mode you just keep doing those kind of like um uh, praise or discipline interactions in quick success succession and that will do that so she's done that really good i don't know if we've got like a little buff for that um feeling great close connection full parent mode there it is all the parenting you've done has caused the world to slow down around you you feel like nothing can slow you down um and then this will this one will complete when luna ages up so cinderella is nearly done with her aspiration which is amazing as well um what do you need to do have a child max any skills so i feel like greg is getting there with his motor skill because his motor skill is eight so we may get we may get Greg to do that i don't know if it has to be specifically a child or it could be a teenager um he needs to practice typing for four hours okay so have you both finished so greg can you give your friendship bracelet to um i don't know how to do this it's really it's such a cute idea i don't know how to do this um can you give this to vlad please exchange friendship friendship bracelets he can't give it to vlad are they not actually friends yet is that why do they have to be friends G hug him i want you to be besties hug lovingly share a secret you are my favorite do you are my favorite come back where is it where did it go you are my favorite. Tell, him you're, tell, tell each of you your favorites. I love this. I love this bromance between Vlad and Greg. Ask where the moon went. Um, I don't know why his emotional control is going down. Um, um, I'm convinced, no. Um, 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 what else? Um, don't accuse him. Be nice. Enthuse about candy. They're not really getting on that. Well, I don't know why. Like, I don't know what the friendship level is right now. Are they friends? They are friends. So can you can you give each other the friendship bracelets? Oh, exchange friendship friendship bracelets. 
No, why can't he do it? Okay, we need to go home because we're all losing responsibility right now, which is really bad. Um, wait, no, Cinderella, Cinderella, quick. Before all your children get really low responsibility, let's go home. Um, so we want the whole household. I'm really happy with that. I thought that was really cute and wholesome. Um, yeah, I feel, I'm really enjoying this Let's Play. I do like playing with like families and things like that. Again, I get a lot of a lot of my off camera gameplay is kind of like family and friend based. Like all my Sims kind of know each other. It's one big community. So um, yeah, I'm actually quite a wholesome player. If you kind of like catch me unawares, um, I just I kind of tend to be a little bit more chaotic on camera because I think it makes funnier videos. If we're looking at some of the more um, some of the more silly features um like and keeping it light-hearted i don't know like again i'm nothing i'm doing is fake i just play a little bit differently off camera because again i play so slowly in my went well, like off camera in my own game really boring actually <laughs> um like i find it really entertaining i think it would be boring to watch uh, i'm gonna kind of i think i'm gonna call it that am i gonna call it that i need to do a little recap for myself so greg actually technically can age up um i feel like oh look he's got a best friend oh it's greg and cinderella your best friends that is actually that's kind of cute and wholesome at the same time look at this as well he's got conflict resolution and responsibility really high so yeah i feel like greg is definitely at a stage where i would be comfortable aging him up um so but tomorrow it's don's birthday because don as well is doing absolutely amazing and like look at him he's so happy he's so just everything's going so well guys i'm gonna leave it there um i don't know do i have time to do one more video i might leave it there um and uh yeah do let me know who you want me to add as the like the sixth and final pre-made sim to the household as an infant um i have a few ideas myself i might do a couple of polls on twitter so watch out for those um and uh, obviously you can let me know in the comments what you're thinking as well and uh yeah let me know let me know your thoughts on that um what's the last character like what is the last thing though there's like different things for different infants i think calm i think the the trait that we've not used yet is like something like calm. Um, it's like the really chill, it's like a little blue calm thing. So it needs to be a sim that would have that calm trait. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you everybody for watching. That was just me making sure my eyelash was on if you wouldn't do I was pinching my own eye. Um my again I've got a bit of hay fever so my eyes are getting itchy. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like if you like, subscribe, all that business. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box down below. You can also tweet me at Cinderella Mouse. Again, like link in the description box below. Take care of yourselves. I will see you again soon. And let me know, are you doing this challenge as well? I would love to know if any of you are doing this raising them right, like raising the like the pre-maze properly and how who you chose, how you getting on with it like how are they different to the normal pre-made when they're adults and things like that i'd love to hear what you guys are all up to as well and send me screenshots at cinderella mouse as well i love to see them and i will see you again soon take take care bye friends